Here we are inside our Revit file of Dovetail Lane. It's just a two-storey residential property. Over here in the project browser, first of all we have our floor plans. These are the views looking down from above. Uh, when you create a new Revit file, you'll have level 0, level 1 and site. And here I've renamed level 0 to ground, renamed level 1 to floor. I've actually created a new level called roofline and there's nothing on site. So these are the views um, of each floor. So there's the ground and that's the first floor and that's the roof. Um, this is the way that we construct um, all of our drawings and our 3D model which looks like that when we're finished. But before we get there, we need to create um, a little bit of structure underneath. What we actually need to do is create and define our levels, the heights for all of these. And we do these inside of an elevation. And here you can see I've set the ground floor at zero, first floor at 2400, and the roof at 4800 millimeters. I highly recommend that you do this first before you actually create any of the ground floor or first floor plans. Um, if you don't, it's not too much of a problem, um, but it, it's the fundamental structure of how Revit's operating, so I would recommend creating these first. Um, like I said, we renamed level 0 and a level 1, and to bring in a new level, we just on the architecture tab, level Click on level, come over and use the last level as a reference. Okay. And a couple of clicks and you're there. And once you've created it, you can click on these and line them up with the others. Like that. So you can see now I've got a new level five and it's appeared in my project browser as well. I don't actually want this, so I am going to delete it in this instance. And it'll delete the level that went with it. Okay, so once you've got your levels set up, then you can go to your ground floor, draw your ground floor plan, starting with the walls, external walls, internal walls, then you move down into the detail items such as windows, doors, stairs. At this point in the design stage, that I don't put dimensions on just yet, then work with just getting the shapes correct and making sure things like the stairs fit in and you can get um, to the top and access the rest of the property. So once you've done the ground floor you move up to your first floor you can see that the um, ground floor is shown underneath in light grey which allows you to go over the top um, and usually what we need to do at this point is put in the internal walls upstairs because we'll have set the external walls and the ground floor to reach all the way to the roof line. And at the roof line, and that's the level that we put our roof on. Here it's sectioned through. So you go through, you draw your ground floor, first floor, put a roof on. At this point, you will have 3D view, and then it will have also generated views for each of the north, east, south, and west elevations of your property. You do notice that I keep you keep seeing this section line. What happened there was I drew a section line on the drawing, which is part of the view section, so I drew this line on here, 
and it created this section through view through my property at that point. Um, and that section view line is visible in all my views. Once I've created my property and I'm happy with it, that's when I can go back to my uh, ground floor and start annotating the drawing, putting those sizes on. Then, once I'm happy with that, I can actually go around to generating sheets, drawings for each of my floors, my elevation, section views and 3D views. So if I go to my ground floor drawing, what I have is just a copy of this first floor dragged out onto here with all my dimensions on. And then it's starting to pre-fill with information saving in my project. And the same happens for the first floor. On this drawing, I've dragged the four views here at a different scale onto one sheet. I have another sheet with my section view on and a final sheet with a 3D representation. So this just runs through um, the structure of uh, Revit itself with floor plans, levels um, and how those views produced here get transferred through to a drawing sheet as an overview. What we'll start doing in the next video is looking at a little more detail on how to construct our property.